So hey guys, um, it's a, such a lovely Thursday, it's sunny and the weather is warm and I'm in front of the, the National Museum and we have already filmed here a vlog and it was about Winter Wonderland. If you haven't seen it, just check it out. This day is really important for me, not just because we have already picked uh, modules uh, for next year, but also I'm going home for Easter. It's gonna be a three weeks break or almost break because I have to work on my essays. So I will show you my way back to Hungary and how I reach uh, my hometown. I'm waiting for the bus now, then I'm going to get a plane from Bristol to uh, the capital of Hungary, Budapest. And then from there it's one more hour by car to me to get home. My whole family is waiting for me and I think it's a really important um, moment of every international student's life when they are going home because we can't go home really often. I go home just every third month for three weeks but this three weeks is going to be such a lovely day. My grandma already cooked for me and my donuts are waiting for me. I hope you will enjoy the video. cheaper from Bristol and it's not worse to go to London because the flight tickets are cheaper there but the bus tickets are like more expensive and I have to travel a lot so instead of traveling 24 hours I'm traveling just 12 hours from a house to house my first rule is always have a pillow I have that heart shaped really soft amazing pillow the second tip is to to search a place on the bus where your legs are uh, really comfortable. There are some buses um, which allows to disabled people to travel, but there are not too many disabled people traveling these buses. So most of the time you have a comfortable place. If the bus is late, don't um, fear that it's waste of time to complain for them. Once my bus was late half an hour or an hour, and I got three tickets for the next journey. One more tip for the journey, that you can charge your phone, so don't leave your charger in your luggages. Just bring with you on board, so your phone won't die. I'm going home, I'm gonna be home in six hours. So I arrived to the airport and few things what are really important to be on time there. Now I don't have uh, luggages what I want to put on the uh, plane. I just have a handbag and um, a small bag what I can put on board. But if you have bigger luggages then you have to be there at least two hours before the, the flight. So the people are behind me are queuing to send their luggages um, to the plane. You can't bring any liquid or knife or things like that to the plane. So now I'm going to drink my water, or at least most of it. And I still have three hours, so I'm just chilling in a cafeteria and most likely to read some journal articles for my next essay because I still have three um, essays due to the end of um, the Easter break. I just came up for the departure path and the Bristol airport is not too big. In the last one and a half year, when I was traveling back and forward from here, they have already built new gates and they have new security system so now it's more difficult to go through the gates. I used to bring water through the gates but now it's impossible because a machine goes through and watch every liquid in your bag. So now I'm going through that gate with my ticket and one more thing that I, I travel now with my ticket on the phone uh, so for me it's like really useful not print print this out. So 
So here's the check. You have to read out from your shoes and everything. And take out your laptop and your bags. So this was the first time that I came through the gate and they didn't do anything with me. Which is so surprising because they usually stop me and answer me and like uh, look into my shoes and like touching me for like do searching things but now I walk through normally. So I am inside in the airport, I still have two more hours so I will do some research on my dissertation for next year. So. I think I started it on time and here is the board where we are going to see uh, when is, uh, the gates are closed uh, and opened. So yeah, run 7 I'm going to, into the gates and then um, flying home for 3 hours. I can't wait to go home and have a sleep because this last few weeks were really really busy with the essays and all the assessments and I still have a lot to do. but. At least when I'm at home, I can sleep as much as I want, I don't have to cook. Um, my family will take care of the food, shopping and everything. The gates are open, so now we are going there and uh, boarding to the plane. Hopefully we won't late, because last time when I came here, it was two and a half hours late. So you can see the other people are coming too. And as soon as we be taken off. Um, I'm going to be at home in three hours, so I'm going to be landed 11 p.m. here, which is 12 back at home. It's really loud, so I don't know if you understand me or not, but I'm taking off with the plane in a few minutes. So one more difference between the UK and Hungarian system that we have a card-based ID. So now I, I'm not waiting for the luggages, so I can run afterwards. So that's my last scene, and I will show you how my parents and my family waits for me. Hello! 